One of the things that I've learned as a web designer and web developer over the past 15 years is that you have to communicate a copy, a text message, join it with some graphic element. That could be an image, that could be an icon, that could be an illustration. Now, if you put a copy on a composition and do not add a proper image, illustration or an icon, probably you're not going to get the proper attention from the uh, viewers that you would like to communicate that content to. Uh, let's say potential clients. So in this case, I'm planning to use some icons to draw the eye and catch the attention on here on this um, table prices that I got here on my homepage where I'm offering to companies in the United States and some other countries to have uh, different packages to power their marketing efforts and their selling and of course their online, their online presence and expose their brand in a proper way. So right now I uh, came across this um, icon set here in Icon Finder and as you can see these icons are very nice uh, very nicely designed very nicely done so I am going to include this using Elementor Pro on my website which is the site builder that I use on my website and in most of the cases to my clients websites as well so let me try with 120 px on this icon as a PNG I'm gonna download the icon and I'm gonna come back here and add an image on this on the top of this um, section here and locate the icon that I just downloaded from there or load it into WordPress and as you can see we got the icon right there now there is a, a different color behind the background and the 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 price table here has a background white so I'm gonna go ahead and click here uh, go to the background of this one and I'm going to select white so everything looks nice now as you can see and probably that icon is a little bit big uh, so we could reduce the size using the Elementor um, the elementor size in this case is not reducing because the icon is too short so I'm gonna go ahead and click full here and I can come back here and download the 64 and see how it looks we can use, we can use uh, an image editor as well to make the change on the size of the icon but since we are actually on that page has different sizes it's easier to download from there and I don't like it uh, I am sorry I'm gonna get back to the biggest size because I'm trying to expose a little bit here everything like my own um, slogan that I use expose your brand so I got some other icons that I selected here I'm gonna go ahead and download all these icons so I can just add the proper icon there okay we got this one and I'm gonna go back there and I'm gonna put another image right there and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upload those two icons that I just purchased on Icon Finder, insert media, I'm gonna come back here, make this white so it looks pretty nice, and I like it the way it's coming along, uh, it's already there, oh this is the one. And one last step is the background here. 
All right, uh, we just completed adding these uh, pretty nice icons here for each of the tables. Now, for some reason and some designer, I, I don't know if you agree with me, but I kind of see that there needs to be a little bit more space in the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and the top, I'm going to add 10, probably not 10, 20 or yeah, a little bit more. 30 because the spacing is something very important and we need to allow the eye to breathe I know it sounds a little bit weird but it's just the way it is uh, you need to paste the style it's gonna get this but uh, I cannot do the same here because I got some other styles on this one which are different than the last one on the right so i'm gonna go ahead here i'm gonna add the 30 right here so it looks fine all right so i'm gonna check this in the browser here we are pretty cool huh we just added some icons right there and it looks better thank you for watching the video and all the best for you